Hi guys, it's me, so the gamer, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Pikmin. This is the game that I've said would be a new series, something that I am not very familiar with, even though I feel like I should be. Um, I have not played per se, but I do enjoy the game. I have beaten it, as you can see by this thing right there. Uh, but we're going to start a new file, because why not? We're in space. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. <laughs> I don't even know why I just referenced that. Oh no, it's an asteroid. How are we going to avoid it? Oh wait. We don't. No! We're falling to our demise. Hey, it looks like Earth. A level just gets right into it. Oh no, our parts are falling all over the land. Uh-oh. The impact site! Look at us, we're all dazed and confused and all that other jazz. Uh-oh, that's not good. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blocked out, and I woke on the surface of a weird planet. So many parts lost, the skeletal hole of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate that this low planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My left solar system can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then? No! Better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Alright, so where are we gonna go? Um, I'm actually not playing this in quite a lot. Lyle? While, so I'm trying to get used to the controls. Each game day is about 13 minutes, however the first day you can take as long as you need, which is kind of why I'm just getting used to the controls. When you don't have anything with you, you kind of just can only adjust the camera with L. There's a Wii version and a GameCube version, I'm playing the GameCube version, so... There you go. I'm trying to just figure out what to do. Well, I know what to do, which is, uh, head this way. I think it's over here. This is what I meant by witnessing me fail more than a few times, in case you do not know. Oh, it's a red thing. But what's inside the red thing with a flower on top of its head? A seed! A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on the home planet that we call an onion. I have called this an onion too. Ooh, onions are delicious. Alright, so I guess that we can only wait for it to sprout. Come on. Then, well, cutscene. <laughs> oh, look, there's a red glow to it. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light, and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. Okay, well, this was the Wii version. That would be a Wii controller with a nunchuck. You can't, that's the only difference between this and the Wii version, just the nunchuck and the Wii emote. Just different controls. Anyway, this thing, in case you have not figured out about the name, is... Well, you'll see in a minute. Extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Peanut has done no visible damage. It just stands there staring at me. Its shape is similar to the pick 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 brand carrot I love so much. I believe, I believe it's called a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A, and I will call it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps we'll react to C, it's an S as well. 
Okay, cool. The following controls are created to allow me to view several viewpoints. I'll reach a camera, hold the follow the cursor, R, zoom in and out, Z, change angle. I must arrive if I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. Well, that's kind of what I was doing. Alright, there we go. Yeah, you can control the Pikmin with um, the Z stick. I do want to zoom out a little more. So if we throw this Pikmin at this thing, it'll do some damage to it. You throw the Pikmin on it again, it will carry it back to the seed, or the onion. And then, voila, more Pikmin have sprouted. Astonishing, the onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate with more Pikmin. The onion seems to have just sort of an incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. So there we go, now that we just wait for this while I'm waiting for that, I'll um, have you work on this. And I did not mean to hit Y, that's your map. Uh, can you just wonder what those totals are at the bottom? Um, the, the one on the left will show you how many Pikmin you have currently, like, standing with you. And the one in the middle will be how many Pikmin you have out of the field. Out of 100, you can have 100 Pikmin maximum. And the one to the right is how many Pikmin you have, the, just total, period. So, wow, I forget how long this takes to sprout. Yeah, I think I'm just so used to playing on Pikmin 3. Zoom out, please, thank you. I'm so used to playing Pikmin 3 that I kind of forgot, like, what I'm supposed to do. Well, I didn't forget what I was supposed to do, but I've just been playing Pikmin 3 so much lately. I did beat the game, which is pretty sweet. Um, there's a five pellet. The more pick we have carrying an item, the faster it'll go. It's a very good thing that this day does not have a time limit. Every other day will. As I said, there's a 13 minute time limit for each day. 30 days. So that's 390 minutes. Actually, no. 377 because the first day doesn't really count. Which is, I'm trying to math. Six hours 17 minutes uh 367 yeah 6 hours 17 minutes i can math people i did it i mathed i can do it myself with no calculator let's go okay this game kind of is pretty um, heavily based on your strategy as you can see there is a thing over there but i'm not going to go for it yet uh -huh. keep I keep thinking that in Pikmin 3, they'll go for the power as soon as they, um, need 10 Pikmin to get that, but I'm going to focus on it in a minute after I build up my numbers, because you want to do that early game. I'm so used to the Pikmin just getting that as soon as they kill the power in Pikmin 3. And if you keep hearing me say comparing everything to Pikmin 3, that's more than likely why. Uh, anything over here? There should be at least something. Nope. Oh, little red guy is not exactly catching up very well. Here is a pellet. Um, I believe you can get a maximum of 25 Pikmin on this first day. Which is obviously something that I want to do. Because why wouldn't you get to the maximum Pikmin if you can? Uh, I did not mean to throw you, Little Red. The game really... It, it, it kind of starts pretty slow. As you see, the Pikmin are kind of lighter colored. That means that they're not currently standing idle with you. Um, the, the first day is definitely slow, but it definitely, I think definitely a lot. It picks up a lot after the first day, trust me. The first day you're just building up your numbers. You're trying to make sure all your Pikmin, you have a C stick, you can move the Pikmin you're liking. It's a really helpful strategy. Uh, I'm gonna call you back. I hate that the camera, like, zooms in by itself. Uh, well, first of all, you should not be standing there. Uh, I kind of wish C-Stick was to rotate the camera. Uh, anything else that I just so happen to miss? There's a few pellets over there, but... I very well could be missing a pellet. There isn't really anything that hidden in this first area, so... If I miss something, then it's probably... Yeah, I didn't really miss anything. Oh no! We need 10! We got 14! Let's just move them all up and push it! Yeah, you three Pikmin are gonna be left in the dust, doing nothing! Push! Push! 
possible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make up use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum all up all learn I shall blah blah blah. I shall sum up all of the learn of the Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick sprouts. Press A to grab Pikmin. Release the throw. Press B to call them. X to dismiss. Use C to command and control the action group. L, R, and Z control perspective. I shall record all of these on my computer. I can press Y to the computer, which I accidentally have done. Which I've actually done. <laughs> And that's pretty much it for the controls. They are a little wonky. I'm gonna ignore that for right now and just try to get everyone up this little flight of ramp, which I have done. Uh, you don't have to be super precise with your Pikmin throwing, but it, all, it is good to get all the Pikmin you can. Another one pellet. I hit A for somebody to throw. There we go. Uh, anything else like to the side? You can't really do anything with that yet, so we're just going to ignore it, because we have no choice. <laughs> and now we're going to get you guys to work on this 5 pellet. We're going to have all the different carry of back, because as I said, that'll increase the speed. Hey! You! Go! Thank you! No! You're supposed to- Oh, maybe there's a max of 10 Pikmin that can carry that back. Yeah, there is a Pikmin limit as to how many can carry something back. Which actually might be the reason why the, um, not all the Pikmin went back. Yeah, that must be have a 10 Pikmin limit. So now that we're just going to wait for you to bring all those lovely Pikmin back. There are different Pikmins in this game, however I'm going to go over what they do. Like Red Pikmin have different uses to the other Pikmin, but I'm going to go over what those do when um, we get to tomorrow in game day. When many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather cheaters to pluck them off of the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping it so I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. Mm -hmm. Notice how when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flush of bright color. On another time, they revert to a parlor of hue and give off a dim glow. Pink was attention to be stable because they bound to how we distinguish between Pikmin. Yeah, that's basically what I mentioned earlier. Yeah, I'll mention what, um... Each Pikmin does when I get what on like the day I get it, except for Red, because we have not gone into any actual fighting purposes yet. We will tomorrow, so that's pretty cool. Now that we have the max amount of Pikmin we can have for today, we might as well go up to the look at the little squad. Yeah, we got a squad. What could this be? Amazing! There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I've already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But how will I get a back to the dolphin? Like this! Use your Pikmin! You can use all Pikmin on the machine thing. And now I'm just gonna wait for them to carry it back. Hey, push me! You can actually get the Pikmin to um, carry all of my back, but... I'm not sure if it's possible on the GameCube version. I don't own the Wii version, which is also why I'm playing the GameCube version over the Wii. I'm actually, well, I said this before, I'm not really that good at this game. I'm probably going to screw up quite a few times because I'm really bad at this game. Heck, when I play Pikmin 3, I've lost 200 Pikmin, and you know, that game's not very long. This game's even shorter than Pikmin 3. Heck, the shortest game is Pik... No, the longest game is the second game, and that game is really hard to find on online like Amazon and stuff which is why I won't be allowed to play it for a while but when I get it I'll eventually do it. And now look at this oh. Look it still looks like crap but we can still we can still use it because apparently it has an engine now. Oh glorious with help of these Pikmin I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. And yet, that just ends your day right there. These parts are not going to be very long a piece, because I'm probably going to do one day per part, unless one day takes like so short it's really not worth it. Oh, look, the pig men are climbing back another onion. Oh, what for? Well, we're gonna find out right now. We're not. <laughs> 
<laughs> One day since impact, I had somehow managed to launch a dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion left off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or if they merely decide to join me for other reasons. Either way, it seems they'll help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts, but I can't recover them all. I need every return of my home to my family and plan a pocket tape. Analysis shows how the support system will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin if it's a short time? A dense force is visible on the survivor below. As it holds the keys to my survival, I name it the Force of Hope. I explore it tomorrow. And yeah, at the end of the day, they'll basically just give you a little um, analysis on how you did, how many Pikmin were sprouted over the course of a day, how many are left in battle, again, we'll get to that tomorrow, an in-game day, and again, left behind, we'll get to that in next in-game day. Parts remain in 29, days remain in 29, how many Pikmin you have total of each color, and how many ship parts you have. And well, I can just copy my save file, so yep, I will save. I'm pretty sure we don't save, you have to, um, replay the day, I'm honestly not sure. And here we go, we have a new area, the Force of Hope. We're going to explore that next time. So thank you for watching the first episode of Pikmin. I hope you enjoyed, and next time we're going to take on the Forest of Hope. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.